Let's talk today about the problems with WST032 uh, solar tracker controller. What is the problem with it? The first of all, of course, uh, relays. We have to fix them many times, so we decided to put the proxy board and use uh, just the uh, edge bridges. And of course, another reason is the limit switches. I'm gonna show you an example how uh, how would this work like with the uh, with the noises? As a noise, I will just use a piece of metal, and if I just touch one of these, you will see that the relay uh, of Darlington is starting to be activated, and you will see it on the on the LEDs in here. So let's try. I'm gonna use one of them and just show you. Look, the light is just, you know, sensing, so that means I'm a, I'm a radio. <laughs> ...of noises coming from outside through the limit switch connector, through those paths to the Darlington. And this noise is generated from the cables and from, from metals, and just you know having generating problems of signals sent from STC with microcontroller through resistors. Alright, as you can see this is the original PCB for China microcontroller and in here we have removed relays, they were born as you can see there's a there. There's a, a lot of damage in here because of, of uh, shortage of the relays and uh, we don't want to just change the relays to, uh, to edge bridges uh, we also want to fix the problem with the uh, noises going from the limit switches to the Darlington why is, the, uh, why is it like that? because when you're sending the signal from STC microcontroller and you, you just put the signal high in here through the resistor then uh, you split the signal between uh, Darlington and the limit switch and four of them have the same uh, situation so when you saw this last time and I just touched any of this, the light just was flashing, which means the Darlington started to, to be is activated. So what we want to do, we want to scratch this top, those paths in here. We're gonna use just you know drill to do it, and also we want to mate limit switches from four of uh, LCD connectors. Four of them uh, we will uh, use as uh, limit switches, and then we. That's why we want to make the holes in here, and then through those holes we just pull, uh, put the, the the pins, and then those pins will go go down to the proxy board, and then on the proxy board I'm going to show you what's going to happen there. So uh, in such case, if we want to remove those two four pins from LCD, then we have to for sure reprogram the STC microcontroller. In, in first uh, way, we just remove the relays and added uh, on the proxy board the, the edge bridges. It was good enough and I didn't have to change anything on the STC. In such case, I have to reprogram the STC to use LCD in 4-bit mode. And those 4-bit left, we're gonna use as uh, limit switches. And that's why we want to remove the connection to uh, between the, this resistor and, and the limit switch. Uh, how the proxy board is look like, of course, I showed you last time and I don't want to talk, talk too much about it, but uh, what I want to do in here, I just want to also drill the hole. This is the place where I can, where I can securely do it. And through this hole, I will just uh, put the, the cabling. Okay, so this is what's happened after just drilling. Uh, three holes in here, I can just use smaller or bigger, doesn't matter. I just you know, have to figure out how to do it to not destroy any of this path. And then in here and here, I just use the drill to, you know, scratch a little bit the path, those two paths and those two. So I'm sure that the connection between this limit switch and the resistor is broken. And then I will use a four of those pins to be connected to these pins. And then, and this is just a screwdriver. And in here, you can see that we just have those cabling going through those holes. And as you can see, we just, you know, a little bit push the pins, those four pins from LCD. There's a four, a six from one side and six from another side, and those four pins were just pushed a little bit to do not be connected to this connector. And this is exactly what you see in here. Those four pins, the zero, one, two, and three, will be used as a limit switch. 
that's why we don't want to use the, this LCD in 8-bit mode, we're gonna just use it in 4-bit mode, and that's why we have to reprogram the STC microcontroller. And what we have done on the on this proxy board, we don't want to use a, a ESP32, so we just use those some of the slots to, to, to connect pull-up resistors, and of course we just shortage the, the connection to uh, to the, to the current meters in here, this this small footprint is just, just for current uh, sensor from Allegro. We're not gonna use it, so I just shorted it. And here you just can see that we just uh, uh, soldered some of the, the, the wires. You're gonna see it on another side. And uh, so what's happening here? In here we have a plus five volt. So I can just connect this plus five volt to all of those four pins and then to four holes and then just in those four holes I will use 10 kilo resistors to use them as a pull-up resistor to our four pins we uh, just use it from LCD connector and then going from here we are sending the signal outside through this one kilo resistor those paths are straight connected to those four holes so these four are just connected to uh, will be connected to our limit switches I'm going to show you in the next photo in here. So what we really need in, is, is just four wires, four 10 kilo resistor, four 1 kilo resistor, and of course proxy PCB and from Ramat CPU. This is how this looks like after some adjustment in here. I'm just putting those wires through hole and through this hole I'm going out and here you can see that the, these are some kind of wires, copper wires, uh, and here you just have a path to connected to, to the connector of uh, our uh, bridge. In here we have also wires and those wires going through those holes, two, two and two. And then and then we have this all connected together and then I can just you know weld this all together, setting those small wires, copper wires through the holes after using uh, using in the places of of relays. In here, I'm just putting those four uh, lines to the four connection left after using LCD in four uh, bit mode. And of course, here you have removed those two paths. After putting the LCD, as you can see, the zero to three is avoided. And here you can see that we are just going through those small holes with the uh, with the small wire selects from from a resistor actually, and just putting them to any every single uh, connector of external connector of our limit switches. So this is actually all. And then if you will reprogram the PCB the the, the MCU then you will be able, this this, uh, this STC uh, microcontroller will be able to control the limit switches in a logical way. So you are really understand what's going on outside. The, the controller knows uh, that the limit switch is switched on, then you can just stop sending the signal to 8 bridge. And of course, it is the power consumption. And, and, and another story with the LCD that you are using is in 4-bit uh, mode. And of course, you have also one wire left in here and rw it might be used as pwm signal or something else reduce the size of source and of course stc esp gave me possibility to load the source i have in here the example board connected with this chip so i'm able to provide those uh, data in here there is standard china uh, algorithm what I wanted to do is get it out, as you can see, China, to get it out of the chip and program it here. So I just put it here and then use the programmer decide what kind of code you want to use. And then the other code. And now I want to reset the chip. And now it's programming. And done. So in here I have updated my uh, I have updated my algorithm and now I just want to remove this chip and put uh, the chip with my algorithm. So let's switch it off. Great. 
Thank you. 